the, the fiddle is the leader. It's supposed to be the leader. Of course, the banjo's got to go along with it. But he's not trying to do everything the fiddle yeah. does because he can't do it. There ain't no way you can get all them notes in there. You don't have time. You know, I can run them fingers down on the fiddle from here, plumb up to there, before you can bat your eye, all four of them. You can't do that on the back. So you're just asking for trouble when you try. So the banjo's job's to do what? More or less back up. Well, it, it played the melody along too, you know, but there's a lot of shortcuts you could take on the banjo that didn't affect the sound or nothing. It really sounded better to me. What do you got for a note here, real fast? Let me get this pick on here. I've lost a damn pick somewhere. My good pick. I wonder where it came to be. Them strings gonna be too low for you.
got that bottom part right yet, Tom, quite. It, it's something we ain't doing right. Let me see. If I had to fit them, maybe I Or okay. both of us, you mean? Or just well, neither one of us doing right. I'm not doing it right either. Let me see if I can get it. Jim John Brown Ringo. Gee, don't go to that seventh fret on that. You go to the fifth fret. That, but I believe you open up on the first string. You go on, you go with it open the first time, and the next time you notice. Now you're talking about pretty little girl, John Brown. Pretty right? little girl. Well, let me see if I know how. You ain't got that running, hey? Yes, I do. I'm going to just cut it off a minute and let me find it here. Hey, it's you. Come 
together, but it's all together different notes. Mm -hmm. But playing lost in it in A, you gotta fret down two strings at the same place. You hit it bounce off your third string too late before you start into that right here. This is just, that's what you're playing here, that holding both those at the fifth fifth yeah, fret. Yeah. I didn't have this first note. I didn't realize you hit that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I... yeah you, you bounce off your third string open. So that's all way you can get back down there if you uh -huh. like, like when you finished up this part. See you slap. Alright, go. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah, to make them ring. You know? Yeah, to get them to come out there. I put double dots there, didn't I? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think we've ever done that before. That's nice, though. Yeah, they do that a lot on guitars. And I know it. The 12. Yeah. Okay, you got that straight now? Yeah, I think I do. How about that step back Cindy or back step Cindy, whatever that is? You, you play that, that old Tommy cleanser the whole way in a new yeah, way. But I don't know the old way. Uh -huh. I've heard Tommy do it. Yeah. But there ain't much to it to me, the way he did it. The old way? Yeah. Yeah. There ain't much to it. It's a pretty good tune, a new way. Yeah. I mean, some people. Keeps it going good if you. Just like this. Well, right here looks something you can get in there that you can't get in no other. One. You can get this little wang right in there that you can't get to. That'll... Oh, 
the country. Some people call it fly around with a pretty little pink. Some people call it fly around with a pretty little miss. Some people call it my blue-eyed daisy. Yeah. It's all the same thing. Tommy called it Western country. Yeah. Going to Western country now. Susan Yeah. yeah. And we, we used to call that uh, Susan Anagale. Mm -hmm. That's another name for it. And fly around my pretty little pink. And, and how, how, do you, how do you play it? Just like Tommy does. Mm -hmm. See, they always went in pairs. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't see what you mean by pairs, though. Well, they associate when you, yeah. you think of one, well, next you thing you think, think of the next one. Yeah. 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 Maybe they don't do that as much as they used to, but... Well, I do, but I, I don't know if I do the same ones as you do, you know, together. How do you play Polly Put the Kettle On? Let's see. A lot of you guys yeah. going down to seven. fiddle do the leading, you know. Uh-huh. And you come but out. But the fiddle should play that note? Well, as it won't do. Yeah. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just stop with my G. Thank you. 
And it don't get down too bad either, feel it. I put some up. Uh, yeah, that's whole. I pulled some. You see, it's, it's raining. Those big, yeah, for those big heads. I, uh, I put some uh, neat sweat compound on there to dry, uh -huh. dry it, keeps the water out. And a New River Train, you know that one? Yeah, riding on that New River Train. Yeah. That's an A tune? No, D. D how, how do you... <laughs> Catch up to you and Ava. Okay. What, you, what are you going to play? Nothing today? special. You want to show me how to play that Sally Ann again? All those different little. Yeah. Yeah, you got that seventh fret. I was leaving that out. I know there's a little something more than right yeah. in Sally Ann. You go. How, how would you... Yeah. Four 
down, brother.
when did that start? <clears throat> uh, sometime after I started trying to play. Uh -huh. It was played the other way back when I first began. I don't know even when it started. It's been a long time, fairly long time though. Yeah, it's been 40 years or more. Yeah. And uh, then they started doing it like that. And Boggy Cockham had another way of doing it. He just kept doubling up on that bottom tray. And I Sinful two flirt or sinful flirt? The sinful flirt uh -huh. is the, name, the way they call it. And the way this song starts talk, it says they say that it is sinful to flirt. But I always like to cause that old chord in there. me a little on that tune. It's a little faster than I wanted it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's got pretty good time, but it's, it's a little faster than it should be. Thank you. 